All right, here we go. Episode eight of our Hero Quest painting series. We're going to be doing the Dread Warrior. Super easy, super fast. He's a minion, so we're not going to make this crazy. As always, I want to say thank you to all of our YouTube members. YouTube members, send me a message on Instagram. I want to know what you guys want to see painted next. I want you guys to have first dibs of what we're going to paint. So become a YouTube member and you can uh, start choosing what we do. But if this is your first time with the channel or you're returning and haven't hit that subscribe button yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that thumbs up, hit that bell. But without further ado, let's go. As always, we are going to take our miniatures and scrape off those nasty mole lines to prep it first. Um, if you're looking for anything that I use in my videos, just hit the description below where I have a bunch of links and ethics statement. I do take a fraction of a penny for every sale, but it does help the channel, so you're awesome. Then we're going to spray it all in black and let it dry. We're going to start with our Iron Warriors, which is our base metal color. And I'm using an airbrush because I did a couple things with an airbrush prior to this, but you don't need to do that. Just hit it all with Iron Warriors. It's going to give it that nice dark look with obviously the black undercoat that we have on there. Once that's dry, hit it all with a Nolan Oil and let that dry completely. Once it's completely dry, we're going to take some Iron Breaker, and we are really focusing on the raised areas to give this a nice shine, but still a dark look miniature. So we're going to be going over that front chest plate, we're going to be going over the shield, the head, the mace that our Dread Warrior is holding, boots, and the front portion, knee area of our Dread Warrior. We're going to keep the highlights on this miniature very minimal. Again, it's just a minion. They're going to be in and out of the board. We don't want to make it too complicated. So we're going to take some Blood Angels Red. We're going to put this into the eye sockets. And if you get some on the edges, that's perfectly fine. You want to have some type of OSL or object source lighting, even though it's very minimal. I guess you could not even call it OSL. Then we're going to do this on the front chest plate and the eyes, and then the eyes that are on the shield. Next, we're going to take a very light dry brush of Ryza Rust and give it kind of a rusty look on our shield as if our warrior had picked up a rusty old shield or if it was sitting in a damp or moisture filled area. And for the last effect on the shield, we're going to take an old stiff brush or if you have an old toothbrush, which is probably the best thing to use. Take some blood from the blood god or whatever kind of blood you have and flick it onto that shield to give it that nice death squirting spatter of blood. Now we're already coming down the home stretch we're going to be doing the last thing which is the cape to our miniature and we're going to paint the front and back of this cape with Mephiston red. Just be a little careful because you got to get between the legs and on the side and the front red area that's coming down from the crotch area of our Dread Warrior.
Once that is all done and all dry, we're going to take some Karaberg Crimson and put it all over our red areas. Be a little careful, you don't want to get this onto the metal, but if you do, it's not a big problem. While you're waiting this for this to dry, head over to our Instagram, which is nerd.night. Subscribe over there because I have some very important things I'm going to be announcing and you do not want to miss it. Maybe some uh, free stuff I'm going to give away. Next, we're going to take, after it's dry, a reapplication of Mephist in Red and we're going to focus on the raised areas of our miniature, leaving the recesses with that little dark Karaberg Crimson wash that we used. Next, we're going to take a 50-50 mix of Mephist and Red and Evil Sun's Scarlet. And again, we're just going over the raised areas. And you don't have to do every single raised area. You can just do a couple here and there. Nothing too crazy. Just making that nice contrast from the darker red to the lighter red as we're going to use Evil Sun Scarlet, the pure version, here in a second. And finally, for our last bit of red highlight, we're gonna use just pure Evil Suns Scarlet on this miniature. And again, we're not doing anything crazy. Picking out here and there and making more or less where the sun would hit it on the back, more bright red with the Evil Suns Scarlet. And to finish off this miniature, I'm just going to do some Abaddon black on the rim of the base and in between. And that's going to be it, because I know that's your favorite part of painting the miniature, because that means it's done and it looks like this. Super easy, nothing complicated. I'm sure you did great. Send me some pictures on Instagram. A lot of you guys send me pictures, and I love it. I love seeing everybody's work. It gets me pumped up, and it makes me even more motivated to make these videos and pump them out as quickly as I can. But thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Hit that subscribe button. We're going to be doing a ton of games coming up. I'm going to keep this going for as long as I can. But until next time, paint on.